Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After opening a company file in Sage 50, you can click the buttons within the navigation bar that display the names of the navigation centers to display the related navigation center. In all three versions of Sage 50, meaning Pro, Premium, and Quantum, you have access to the business status, customers and sales, vendors and purchases, inventory and services, employees and payroll, banking, and system navigation centers. At the top of any navigation center is a small navigation center toolbar that lets you perform some standard tasks related to navigation centers in Sage 50. First, you can choose which navigation center page to show by default when you open the current Sage 50 company file. To do this, open the navigation center to set as the default navigation center page. Then click the default button within the toolbar at the top of the navigation center. The button then appears highlighted in a blue color after it has been set as the default page. To show or hide the content of the currently displayed navigation center, click the leftmost button in the navigation center's toolbar. This is a toggle button that reads either show or hide. Clicking it toggles the display of the content within the navigation center on or off. You may notice a slight pause when you click the name of a navigation center in the navigation bar. This is because when you open a navigation center, Sage 50 refreshes the data shown within it to reflect any changes to the data. To manually force a refresh of the data shown in any navigation center, click the refresh button in the navigation center toolbar at the top of the window. You can also change the system date using the navigation center toolbar. The system date is a very important date. This is the default date used for any transactions you enter within the currently selected accounting period. If you select a system date that falls outside of the currently selected accounting period, then all transactions you enter have a default date value of the first date within the selected accounting period, ignoring the system date altogether. To set the system date, click the System Date button towards the right end of the Navigation Center toolbar. In the Change System Date dialog box that appears, Set the system date by clicking the small calendar selector at the right end of the displayed date and then choosing a date from the calendar drop-down. After setting the desired system date, then click the OK button to confirm your selection. You can also select the accounting period for data entry by clicking the period button at the right end of the navigation center toolbar. In the change accounting period dialog box that opens, Select the accounting period for which you want to perform data entry. Then click the OK button to set the selected accounting period. Within each navigation center, there are related tasks you can perform by clicking the buttons shown and then choosing a command to perform from the resultant drop-down menu if necessary. This replicates the functionality of the commands within the menu bar using a graphic interface. You can also view the relationships between items within Sage 50 by examining the graphic interface. For new users, this helps you perform tasks in the correct order. For example, in the Customers and Sales Navigation Center, you can see that you should set up your customers, jobs, and sales tax before creating invoices. In addition to tasks, you can also view associated lists of information and recent reports in all of the navigation centers. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.